managing our money and living within our means can sometimes make us feel out of the loop with what's going on with inflation, with people having a good time. But let's talk today about how it is totally worth it to be out of the loop. I was walking around the store the other day and I was looking for clearance and markdowns and picking up the few items that we needed when I saw there was a special on bagged salad. I liked bagged salad. I like to catch it on sale and use it for different things, but I saw it was on sale free for $11. That's $3.67 a bag. That's not a sale. And then I saw that the normal price was like $4.29. I'm like, that's crazy. Did people forget how to cut up coleslaw, to cut up lettuce? I, I don't know. I can't imagine paying that much money for that little in the bags. They're only like three-fourths full. And then I was on my way to a birthday party and I asked my daughter, is there anything I can pick up and bring? And she said, yes, can you grab two potato salads? So I stopped by the store to pick them up. $8.49 for three pounds for a little tub of potato salad. And they were on sale for a dollar off. It cost me $15 to get two little tubs of potato salad. I thought, man, I'm out of the loop. As many of you know, I make my own iced coffee at home in the mornings or my own hot coffee. It's something I've come to really look forward to when I get up in the morning. But the other day I thought, you know, I haven't had a purchased coffee in forever. It's been almost a year since I quit working and that's something that I used to do occasionally. I just don't do it anymore because my income is so low since I stopped working. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna stop by and treat myself. I have a $2 off coupon. It'll be decent priced, right? No, I like the large frappes, $7 and like four cents. Oh my gosh, almost a $10 bill for a coffee. And there were tons of people in line. And guess what? My coupon that I thought I could use, they said, oh yeah, that's not good for this. You had to purchase something else. I thought, wow, I better enjoy this because this is going to be my last purchased coffee for a long time. Sometimes as a frugal person, we can feel totally out of the loop. We can see where people are going on vacations, buying new cars, buying homes, and going out to eat, having beach vacations, and we sit back and think, wow, that is a totally different life than the life that I'm living. But we have to remember that what they're showing us on Facebook and stuff, those are their highlight reels, their special times in their life. They're really good things that they want to present to everyone. They're not presenting everything behind the scenes. When I visit my friends, sometimes I still feel out of the loop. I visited a couple of my friends that were older than me in the last several weeks. They are in debt. They are buying things that still have interest and payment plans, and they're not sure how they're going to retire. And one of them even told me, if I live to be 65, I figured I have enough money left for seven more years. What do I do? So she invited me to help her a little bit. And I told her about that nine month CD that we just opened and how it is a really good deal right now. And she had some money sitting around, even though she still has debt, she was hanging on to some money that wasn't really making her any money. And she went out this next week and she checked with her bank and got a really great interest rate like that and opened herself up a six month CD, making even a little more interest than our local country bank. And she thanked me so much for telling her about some of the things that I was doing. 
I'm always so glad to help other people if I can and if I have the knowledge. I'm not an expert, but I do spend time trying to figure out how I can continue to not work, how I can stretch my dollar, and how I can still enjoy my life, take vacations, and do fun things without overspending what I have. And she had just got new windows for her house. She got the whole back end of new windows. They were absolutely beautiful. But again, she's older than me and just took on this new debt with interest. And I can't imagine doing that at my age. And I'm a little younger than her. I can't imagine buying something at this point in my life and not having the money to pay for it. I have crossed that bridge into, I don't want any more payments. I don't want to pay anyone interest. And I want to know that the money that I have is available for what I need. And when I choose to buy something, I will pay in full for that item. That has given me so much freedom. So even though I am living so meagerly compared to some of my friends, I also left those visits feeling very blessed and so glad that I was doing things the way I was doing because I didn't have that stress of knowing that I owed money or knowing that I didn't have enough for my future or knowing that I had to work beyond a time that I wanted to work because I couldn't afford not to. So being out of the loop, yeah, it is eye-opening. It really is. But then again, being out of the loop and seeing what you're missing makes you feel more confident about living frugally. We've had a couple of unexpected costs lately with our animals. We have Fluff, the cat I took to Texas. He needs to have a tooth pulled. And then I have another indoor cat that needed to go in for a visit. And luckily we have a veterinarian that is extremely reasonable. We can take the animals in. They can get maybe a test run and two or three medications and an office visit. And it's anywhere from from 40 to 80 dollars. Some of my friends that live in the city say that they pay about 200 dollars for that same service. So even though they're unexpected costs, they're reasonable. And because we don't have debt and we have money stuck back, things like this don't throw us for a loop. And it's very nice to know that we have that to fall back on, that we can give our animals the care that they need when they need it without it turning our household upside down. I know for some people when they have to take their animals to the vet, it's an unexpected cost. It's a huge cost and it can totally throw off their monthly budget. Sometimes when we live the very meager lifestyle like I do, we can feel like we are not living in the real world. I know I have my own little world here and when I get out and I do things around my home and I don't leave sometimes for a week and a half or two weeks at a time, it can feel like this is all that matters. This is my world and in many ways that's true. And then I get out and I see how much some of these things cost and I see what some people are doing and how much debt some of my friends are still in and how much they're struggling. And I think, wow, my view of the world looks so much different from where I am. And I really start to feel out of that loop. And I start to wonder if the way I'm living is realistic. Is it something that people want to aspire to be in that situation? Or is it something that people say, wow, why are you living like that? But for me, it is normal and I love it. And I feel so relaxed and so confident in my future and knowing that I can afford whatever comes my way. That when I get those little glimpses into other people's world and into the real prices in the supermarket, and I see other people paying those prices like they're normal, 
I feel like an outsider sometimes looking in and it feels very weird for me to watch people paying that amount for salad when I would never do that. So I think it's all a mindset of how we see our lives, how we see our money, how we see what money is worth or how we see what things in life, material things are really worth to us. So being out of the loop for me has been a good thing. It has got me through inflation and I haven't felt like it's really affected us. And being out of the loop has not only done that, but it's given me a fresh set of eyes so that I've been able to help my friends at times with struggles that they're having and been able to give some constructive advice that was very welcomed. So if you are living out of the loop or if you are living in the loop and you want to live a little more out of the loop, step back and think about what is reasonable for your life. Is it reasonable for you to buy that $4 salad or is it more reasonable to buy that dollar and a half lettuce and chop it up or that cabbage head and chop it up? Just little things like that can make a lot of difference once we start making those transitions to be more out of the loop. Then things start looking normal in this out of loop stage and we see them for what they are. We see those high prices for what they are and we automatically see other ways around paying that by maybe doing things a little bit more old fashioned like cutting up our own cabbage. I don't know where you are falling in this spectrum of high prices and inflation and how much it has affected your life. Let me know in the comments below. Are you struggling with inflation? Are you struggling with feeling like you're out of the loop? Do you feel like you're like me and you are out of the loop on the outside looking in? I hope to talk to you in the next video. Thank you for watching today. And if this video has brought you any value, please give me a thumbs up.